Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Vast Triple Six VT6 Vaping, uh, bringing it back on to you uh, with another not quite so long video as the last time. Uh, the uh, uh, that one was pretty long. That was a long review. I will admit that this one shouldn't be quite so long. I will just be. Uh, taking apart uh, the TFV8, I will be taking out the V8 uh, 6 coil to put in the v T8 V8 uh, 8 coil. I'll also be taking off the uh, O-rings and stuff and replacing them or whatever and cleaning it all and all that showing you how to clean it properly and everything and then putting it back together and showing you like kind of like the difference uh, the 6 one hits like kind of you know, not too bad the 6 is uh, actually from what I hear the 6 is like supposed to be the cloud beast or whatever but oh god I did that for you oh Oh god, <laughs> that was a dry ass hit. Oh god, it just wasn't one. I just had no, almost no juice left in there. But I wanted to show you guys the kind of production you get out of that before I did the the V8. <laughs> so there you go. You guys get to see me do that nasty dry ass hit crap and everything else that I really was hoping to avoid. But anyways, fuck it, you know, I, I do I do it for the fans because I love you guys, even though, yeah, I know not too many be watching anyways, but hey, I'll be trying. I keep coming back, and I'm going to keep coming back. So I'm going to show you guys, just like here, right there, bam, set it all on up so you can see it all nice and good, you know. And obviously that's the little box or whatever. Make sure I want to make sure the that that's in the focus or whatever because we will be switching off from that one to that one. Now that's the RTA or whatever. So, and here's the uh, new coil or whatever. I always have a few bags of extra little stuff you know lying around and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure why I'm having to piece together. Um, chunks of video or whatever because I'm not really 100% sure on why exactly it is that uh, my camera is just stopping just for absolutely pretty much no reason whatsoever at all um, I honestly don't know why it's doing this but it's becoming a real big pain in the ass and I should have more than enough enough space I mean this is I should be able to do like a 43 minute video and yet still it's just pulling this crap so anywho Here's the new coil or whatever. I should probably put this. Oops. Ooh, almost fell. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's like a little bit better, I think. Try to keep that there. Try to keep that, you know, right in like the perfect little spot for you guys so that that way works out and real nice and hopefully this time it doesn't fucking stop <laughs> all right here we go so here's the uh here's that baby beast here's the here's the big beast right here y'all you know, it's obviously you just unscrew it it's not all that difficult you know it's not fucking rocket science here you know you just got a couple of cock rings um do not lose these cock rings i am telling you they are extremely useful in more than one way oh right <laughs> i'm just playing anyways uh what's it called let's keep it going because cloud chase uh cloud chase bro um let's see i should probably bring all this all the good stuff the juice i will be putting in for it or whatever there we go get that baby off of there show you guys I always have stuff out. I always do damn too I can't really zoom out or nothing maybe if I just come back a little bit bring her up a little bit more there you go you guys can see a little bit more of the table and what I'm doing and stuff so I do actually have a little wet nap mostly for that my hands so that that way you know my hands are more sanitary as I do this and stuff and it'll clean the outsides and stuff of the tank hey <laughs> wet nap these fucking things man you know what I'm saying you could just give it a good little wipe and everything off of all the crap that's on it and everything else you know it's not, not all that difficult probably should do it with your hands too <laughs> 
I know I'm going to because I know my nails are freaking gross from all this all this damn juice and stuff makes my nails like just absolutely disgusting I've been noticing that on my videos I'm like wow I cannot believe I haven't gotten like freaking 30 comments talking about how disgusting my nails look because man do they ever with this juice and messing with the coils and everything but I digress my bad people my bad so this little rag soaked well, not soaked, but, you know, I have, like, alcohol and stuff on it and stuff and kind of wash it off. You know, you just kind of want to do that. You want to get the two pieces and shit. And you want to un just unscrew them real easy and everything. Once you have it, like, already like that, you know, you're pretty freaking good after that. Hair's coming and going. <laughs> you just unscrew it off of its piece, you know. You expect well, exactly what you'd expect to see. Yada, yada, yada. Take your little glass piece off. You know, you want to get that, get all the juice and stuff and everything, you know, just put your finger through it, try to be gentle, don't go too crazy or anything like that on it, because otherwise you're going to end up, you could end up cracking it or breaking it, and if you crack it, then you got to buy a whole nother $10 freaking thing of glass or whatever, and I suggest uh, when you do clean them like this, always have, obviously, a secondary one just secondary towel to actually dry the stuff off <laughs> that way you're not just having alcohol all in your stuff and everything you know because that probably isn't probably wouldn't be a good thing either you know and get all those prints off and everything so look at that nice shiny piece of glass right there that's what i'm talking about bam all right and we just unscrew this coil if we can get it out it might actually take a little bit more doing than that and if that is the case is one of these babies so well really any wrench will work out pretty good for you but i like using these ones because of the fact that you can kind of get like right where you want to be without crushing having to crush it you know and then bam just a quick little turn you know i'm not even really having to hold on to it that hard as you can see something odd was going on with it i'm not even entirely sure what that's about i've actually i don't know if that's a calcium type deposit i'm, I'm not even sure exactly what that is i might might have to ch you know check on that or whatever let's see i mean everything looks pretty kosher on the inside but i was uh actually i was having problems with this one because the juice wasn't wanting to get sucked in the vacuum was a little bit too good i guess but look at there's like this crusty stuff on the bottom but we won't be using this one either way but as you can tell it's it's clearly not the same as you know like how that one looks with the with all that stuff on it and everything but hey whatever you know whatever's clever so since we're done with those we have this piece now right and we have this piece now and we have this piece so you want to take this this little piece off obviously i do believe none of this really comes apart or anything like that and neither does any of this stuff right here as far as i know none of this like you know comes uh comes apart or anything i don't think if it does then i don't know about it <laughs> but you want to make sure that you know you're down here near your little juice spot you want to make sure that that's that you really do get that nice and cleaned out real good if you have like um uh, Q-tips. Q-tips work really super good for stuff like this. Um, you will notice how gross they get real freaking fast. But, I mean, really all you need is a rag in your finger and stuff. It's not rocket science here. <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty easy shit right here. But the thing is, is with this one... It's this little, it's just that, it's that little piece that you have to kind of make sure is like pushed out because otherwise if it's not pushed out, if you're not, if you don't push that piece out just a little bit and, and you don't have, and you don't have it to where you see like where the actual little piece itself is kind of popping out or whatever you won't get the vacuum there we go you see how it's popping out just slightly just that little bit it needs to have that like little bit of popping out or whatever not too too much but you know just about right and everything because otherwise you won't get the vacuum that you need and then you're gonna have a lot of drip issues so that's uh, that part right there is already nice and clean so now we just work, need to work on this little part, part right here so you just want to, you know, kind of wipe it down. It's not that freaking hard. It's not that difficult. I can't believe this video is already this freaking long. At least it's not 20 minutes, right? <laughs> and there's still like another like minute out of video part out that. Oh my god, so retarded. Anyways, you know, like I said, if I had uh, 
Q-tips and stuff, this would be so much easier and a lot better, much better done, you know? So you want to get all that stuff, take off the top piece, get that, get inside there, get inside the mouth part. You know, if you got to, you can just get in and twist in. I know I'm kind of not exactly doing it where I should be doing it. There we go. That's much better. I'm sure I've been looking like an idiot cleaning everything on the sides and stuff. So, you know, you just want to clean. Like I said, you want to make sure that part's pushed down just a little bit. You know, you want it sticking out just that little tiny bit. And there you go. So that part's clean. You can clean this and then just uh, do it. But I'm also, but the thing is, is I'm showing you the whole replacement thing. So, you know, we got to come and take this piece off, which I would say the easiest way to do that would be to first of all put that down get say like this screwdriver that's already wanting to poke through this damn bag <laughs> I should just pull it through but uh, uh, oh there we go oh that was the hardest thing I ever had to do oh my god I feel like I'm gonna cry and shit myself at the same time uh, and <laughs> Anywho, so there's like all the real, the little replacement um, parts for it and stuff like that. The little replacement plastics and stuff. I'm not exactly sure why there's a little chunk of cotton in there, but whatever. Anyways, so yeah, uh, like I said, you want to get all this, get all this stuff nice and good and cleaned out and everything. Bam, bam, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right, now what you want to do is you just want to go push up against it. Just kind of go, push up against it. You want to you wanna try not to, like, you know, break, like, rip it or anything, especially if you could use it again if it's not already messed up. You see how it makes that little, little bend or whatever? Like, when you push up against it, it, it makes that little bend or whatever. Like, when you do that, you see how you get that bend, and you just kind of grab that and pull that right on off. Okay? So then you want to get like the rag if you can, and I've already cleaned out pretty much everything, but I figure I might as well do a little bit for that too. So you know, you get the, you get this and you kind of just go over it a little bit in there if you can, like that. See how I, I have it just down, double wrapped around back like that, so that doesn't poke through, because you don't want to just be scratching at it and stuff, that, that doesn't help anybody out. So, you know, you kind of just, you kind of, oops, sorry, you kind of just go and like kind of go around it if you're really trying to be thorough as shit, <laughs> which I really don't need to be, honestly, it's just that some of these, th my, my specific one has have been having a little bit of uh, issues with uh, leaking and shit, I mean, why is it that all the best bitches leak no I'm just, I'm just playing i'm just playing anyways okay so we have that piece off and okay and then, and then of course we got this one we already kind of cleaned this off you want to you know kind of well, what you want to do is just, just wrap it around it you know i mean i really shouldn't have to tell you guys really any cleaning techniques and stuff like that honestly i mean it's it's you're cleaning something it's not that fucking hard mostly it's just about taking these little parts off and just wanting to replace them so there you go you get that bend in there like i was telling you about and then you just get it on off of there bam that's simple Whoop, no i dropped it i don't really care <laughs> i wish i had a sound effect so i can make it sound like it just like broke a bunch of shit all right so those two pieces have nothing here we go so these are all the new pieces those back over here we can't really see yeah that's all the old crap and here is the new coil you just pop that baby on out of there get your juice southwest smokeless yes baby and now you want to at least put one drop into like each little hole to prime it. I mean, these things are some serious juice suckers. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe just a little bit on the sides right there because these things are really thick. Like I noticed when trying to pull them out one time I'm probably way too close to the camera it's probably sounding loud as shit uh but yeah i noticed one time when i tried pulling them out and everything uh that uh 
it, it, it it's pretty dense, like in there or whatever. So there you go, you know, got it on there, whatever. Okay, so all right, so yeah, we get that. So that way, that way, and that part's all nice and primed. We have all of our nice and clean, dry things and stuff. Like I said, you know, get in here, dry this stuff up and everything. So there's alcohol, blah, blah, blah. Make sure that little piece is sticking up. Like I said, not too crazy or anything like that, but you do want it kind of like sticking up there. So first things first is we want to put back this piece, all right? So it's really not that hard, literally. It is not that hard. It is like extremely simple with this one. So bam, that that's already done. Then you want to put the coil back on. You want to make sure that this coil is in flush nice. And you see how like that piece is already right there out like that. Once you screw that into the bottom of whatever it should push it back in through and you keep the thing the vacuum even better so so now we have this piece it's not that like i said another piece that's not that difficult it's a little bit harder because of this stupid middle thing of having to go around it but otherwise bam it's just as simple as that really easy stuff here guys i mean really seriously is so now that we have our really nice clean glass piece, you know, you just want to kind of snugly sits over that. Oh, I'm liking how snug that fits over that one. I don't know, I always felt like it never wanted to sit quite close enough to the metal for me, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm tripping. Mm, nice, good snug fit. As you can see, there's nothing really in between the glass and the metal. Last little you can see inside right there looks pretty damn good now This is a part that most of you probably don't know that that there are two sides to it as you can see one side has the abrased uh, Parts of it the other one's all nice and clean if you're putting it down like this uh, Yeah, that is the way it tells you to do it, but I'm telling you it's the wrong way You're gonna end up with more leakage and shit. So just do it I would put it just like that, put it the opposite way and everything that way. Uh, it gives you a much better seal, I'm telling you that right now. And then this piece that's right here won't like uh, wanna swing out so quite so badly and everything like it does. Cause I'm sure you guys have probably noticed that as well, that, that when it's the right side up, it likes to just kinda swing open and close and everything, so. You know, bam! See, it's it's you gotta you gotta kind of push it a little bit to close it like that. See, a little, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, and there you go, nice and flush. I mean, it, I mean, come on, that looks pretty damn good. I might just have to uh, wait, let it let it um, saturate, <laughs> and of course, filling as long as you have the right kind. It's not that difficult. Stick it up in there. Ba bam. There we go. You see, there we go. Except me, I also have another one, a waterberry kiwi sour. That's not that's pretty damn bomb that I actually wanted to add to it. So I'm thinking to add that baby in there. Really get some good flavor. Some good some good stuff going. Get my cock ring back on there. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh huh. Cloud chaser. Because that's what I is. Bam. And then you just want to kind of, you know, wipe off any excess juice after you've been, after you juiced it up and stuff like that. Try to make sure that you don't push back down that piece or whatever, you know. That way you keep it nice and flush and everything. And here we go. Back on my X cubes by smock, by smoke, by whichever you want to call it. Check the atomizer because this bitch is going to be crazy. Bam. Is that a new coil? Yes, it is. Is that a 0 0.16? No, it's not. So for those of you who have it, this is all you got to do is first of all, let me clean up this damn little... 
screen right there power on thank you hit that three times go to actually yeah it's settings and you want to go to fade the f adjust ohm or whatever go down hold it down 0 0.154321 and then hold down bam and now it's registering as the one zero point one five ohm which is exactly what it is air flows nice and full open and there you go I mean look that's just beautiful right there nice and clean and everything now that that is nice and clean we can get back to oh delicious that is just that is delicious <laughs> well there you go there it is I mean pretty simple the only other thing I actually wanted to show you guys was this it is the Kanger Tech tank the mini and if you can't see it, it does not have a coil inside of it right now. It is dirty and everything. I know I'm not going to all of a sudden do one of those. God damn, it's a 20 minute video of two. Uh, anyways, <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys that with this, with this type of coil, it will most likely leak. Get the square coil for this kind of tank and it will help with your leaking quite a lot so you know that's the last little tip that you're gonna get from vast triple six motherfucking today son big shout out to all my friends and everybody who watches this and stuff big shout out to southwest smokeless for helping me out all the damn time big shout out to indoor smokers for you know being the kind of inspiration for all of this for me doing all of this and everything else um, like I say all the time, just keep on vaping, get off them cancer sticks and vape, dude. I'm telling you, it's a funner, better thing. It's a funner, better hobby. And if you do it right, it could be way, way cheaper too. But I mean, other than that, um, if there's anybody wants to be, who wants, can sponsor me or would sponsor me, wants to sponsor me, any companies, anything like that, like I said, I will do a great review of your product and I will um, give you a nice, uh, good, you know, real honest to God's truth freaking uh, review on it and I will do in depth and everything else. Um, and also there is a fan funding thing. Um, I can't obviously tell you that um, that you know you should or whatever else. I can only say that um, that you can um, send funding to uh, my channel, I believe through some way or whatever through some of the car one of the cards or whatever and you can donate to my channel so that that way I can pay for things like new vaping kits and stuff like that to show you guys how they work and stuff like that you know like if I have a bunch of different people you know donating stuff then I could get like you know one of a kit that you know like if I have a bunch of people commenting hey we all really want to see about this kit we all really want to see about this kit and if I see enough of those and stuff then I will try to at least save money or if I do end up getting some kind of donations then I will actually you know go and buy that kit you know like the alien kit which I'm sure has been had already had plenty of them but one of the kits that I've been wanting to do is the sub VOD so I guess this video ended up did being just as long as the freaking Southwest smokeless review but I mean I guess that's just how it goes you know it's not just, it's like a full-on cleaning and everything else but Alright guys, well I'll catch you later, this is VT6 Vaping, just uh, trying to do my thing and show you guys some little tips and tricks and trying to help you guys out. So uh, yeah, K-pop them cancer sticks, you know what I'm saying? Peace out guys.